How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. I am Sammy Fryer. I am a licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, and I am your host for all of these things that we are doing here on this channel. And today we are back at it on our search for the best burger in Florence with the number four burger that we're trying will be the fourth one that will be added to the list. If you stay tuned to the end of the video, I will officially put a ranking on this one and enter it into the spreadsheet. But we did go to a place that we've already featured on this channel, which is the Peckaway Cafe inside SE Real Foods. And what I've got here, well, first of all, I got a side of their pasta salad because I think it's really good. It's very herbaceous. And I made that comment on another video, that description. And uh, some folks thought that was pretty humorous. It is very herbaceous. It's fresh. It's really good. And then we got their Carolina Classic Burger, which is uh, lettuce, tomato, bacon, and pimento cheese, which is very similar to their America's Great Burger, which is your standard cheeseburger. Instead of the pimento cheese, it's got um, American cheese. They've also got their smashing burger, which has caramelized onions and cheddar cheese, which is really good. That one, we get a lot. My wife typically gets that one. And then, of course, hopefully you saw the video where we featured their chopped cheese right here. And then we also got their fried crispy potatoes. That is house-made pimento cheese, and this is house-made honey mustard. Per usual, we're going to get into the food and talk about it. We'll rank it at the end of the video. But in the meantime, we'll have a little chat, a little conversation. And I'm gonna tell y'all about these shirts. Some of y'all were asking me about the shirts, merchandise, we're gonna talk about that. And there's actually a whole purpose and cause behind it. And I'm gonna explain it all to you right here, right now. So let's don't waste any more of y'all's time. Let's get right into this. One thing I forgot to mention, grass-fed beef. Remember from the other video where um, Valerie, the owner, was explaining, you know, one of the real key emphasis on SC Real Foods or Peckaway Cafe is for food to be as healthy as possible. And so they try to locally source the products, all of the products. Their ground beef products are grass-fed beef. I'm loving this honey mustard. Now, let's get to this burger, though, before we get too carried away. Let me go in one more time, and then I'll... Mm hmm Okay. Okay. Mm. All right, so I made a comment in the um, Del May video, and somebody brought some flack to me about what I said. And I had to explain what I meant. I made a comment that the Del May burger reminded me of a McDonald's burger, not the Big Mac, but just like a McDonald's cheeseburger. What I meant by that was the flavor profile was reminiscent of, you know, like a Burger King burger doesn't have the same flavor profile as a McDonald's burger, right? That's what I meant. The flavor profile reminds me of McDonald's. I didn't say the quality or anything like that. I specifically said the video, the quality was better. I said, do not be mistaken. The quality of this burger is better. And it is. The Del May burger is of better quality, clearly, than a McDonald's cheeseburger. I was just saying the flavor profile, all the ingredients coming together reminded me of that. Seasoning of the meat, everything. This burger, I'm going to tell you. The reason I do that is it helps you give an idea. Like most people don't know what Del May burger is. Uh, the old Del May gas station food, they don't know what it tastes like. But like everybody can relate to McDonald's. They've all had it. So it helps you to understand. See what I mean? I'm going to tell you what this one reminds me of. Here, hold on. I got to come from the... All right, hold on. We're like losing this thing. So I've made that disclaimer. So nobody get mad at me when I tell you the truth. This is reminiscent of a Checkers cheeseburger. I'm just telling you. It's almost a smash burger, but not, not quite. Everything on there is good, man. They... Shredded lettuce, the mayo. Again, that's like a mild pimento cheese. Bacon, obviously, always does what bacon does. Uh, it's messy, but it's a really good burger, and the meat is seasoned well. Mm. 
I mean, maybe it could use a little bit more on the seasoning on the beef, but it's quality beef. It's a good burger, man. I'm not mad at it at all. And I'm going to rank it here in a minute. Let's get in this pasta salad, too. This is not to be overlooked. It's fresh. It's light. It's herbaceous. It's good. All right, so let's get into this topic while we polish this off, and then let's get this thing ranked. I'm, I'm still deliberating. I'm, I'm in a dilemma at the moment. So some of you had asked about these shirts from the last video. This is what we've done. First of all, this one is a mock-up that I had made um, because it's got some other graphics on the back that aren't going to be on the regular ones. But what we did was we've got a handful of designs that we've launched in an Etsy store. So that Etsy shop is live. The link will be down in the description. These are available for purchase for $24. The t-shirts are $24. But there's a purpose and meaning behind this that I really want to share with y'all. And to kind of demonstrate it, I'm going to tell you a story. There is a chef, a restauranteur, that I came across. A pretty successful restauranteur, well-established in the cooking game on a pretty high level. And I reached out to this individual and I said, you should come to Florence. You should, you should bring your talents to Florence. And the response that I got was, because this person's familiar with our area, I would love to, but Florence people seem to only want chains and fast food. To which my response was, I know that's been the stigma. And there's a point in time where that's probably been the truth, but that's changing and it's been changing. I said, even there are people in positions of, um, influence and capability that are literally working to change that narrative. And so we've had a lot of places pop up in recent years, some of which have done really well, i.e. a place like SE Rural Foods, Peckaway Cafe, right? So through a series of events, trying to make some connections, said person became confident that what I was saying was correct because it is. And hopefully, as a result of that, there will be a very good restaurant available to us in Florence. It's a pretty awesome story. That's pretty much all I can say on it. Here's what I want to tell y'all. You, we, are the verification of that. We are the sustenance behind that point. I went to Asheville like a year and a half ago, we were up there, we went to some different places to eat and I was just kind of appreciating and taking in Asheville's food scene. And I remember thinking to myself, Florence could have a quality food scene. Like we could sustain that here. That could be a hallmark of this area, this community. And I'm not saying that we can compete with Asheville pound for pound, different geographic location, different features, different population, all of that. But what I'm saying is that on our own scale, make no mistake, Florence has a lot of potential. We talk about this stuff a lot on this channel about our own geographic location, particularly in terms of I-95 and I-20. And so I'm a firm believer in that. I know I'm not the only one. Many of you feel the same way and would like to see the same thing. What these shirts do is this. We went through the supplier and picked the top rated uh, with reviews shirts that they have to offer because we want the quality to be really nice on them in hopes that you guys, a lot of you that we've been interacting with, would see the same thing that we see. This is a way, this is an insignia for the Florence food community. This is our way of stating to restauranteurs like this particular person, to investors and future restauranteurs that we have a market that you can thrive in. All right, this is a place where you can make good food and it will be purchased and valued. This is our way of making that statement. And so when you purchase one of these shirts and we got a few different designs and you wear them out into the public, when you go out to eat, when you go out to shop, whatever, when you post a video, you're making that statement. When you put that hashtag in, and you know, if you haven't joined the Facebook group that we got, the Florence Foodies, you need to join the group. And posting it, man, we want to see what you're eating. You're making a statement. 
And I'm going to tell you this, guys. I'm not going to stop. I don't... Like, that interaction, I didn't really gain anything out of that. I said in the first interaction, I'm like, man, if you were here, I would just like some good food. Well, I meant that. That wasn't disingenuous. That was true. And I would love to continue to market, but to be able to show, like, look, you know, we've got a thousand people that are passionate about food in our area. This is a way for us to develop community, for us to recognize one another out in the community. So when you're out to eat, you can pick up somebody's tab at the table over there because they're a Florence foodie like you. It's just a way for us to develop community because I believe firmly that there is power in community. I really believe that. I believe that one motivated man, one gifted man, whatever, or woman, can accomplish a lot of great things. I believe in that. But I believe that a community of people can accomplish a lot more. So this is an opportunity for us to enter into community and see exactly what it can accomplish. Because I believe the Florence food scene is changing. And I believe that we, the consumers, the people of this community, can actually play a vital and critical and powerful role in really injecting steroids into that process. Because in my mind, and this last thing I'll say on that, no matter what a restauranteur's or chef's motivation is, whether it's financial, just purely business, or they genuinely, which is what you hope, have a passion for food, if it's business, then they can see, oh, there's clientele down there. There's potential to do a lot of business in that town. Or B, there's a whole company of people that are really going to appreciate my food. And I like to cook. And a lot of y'all do. When we put a lot of our love and our soul and care into a dish, we get a lot. We get the satisfaction when people enjoy it. That's what we want. We want people to enjoy that food. And we're saying, hey, we're here for it. That's what we're saying with this merchandise. So again, the link's in the description. Um, y'all go check it out. There's a couple more designs I think we're going to roll out. And in the fall, you know, we'll have some more things to come. Now, let me tell you two more things separate. One, what our goal is with this, because it's not to remain on Etsy. And two, for those of you that aren't even from Florence, they're like, well, where does that leave me? Don't worry, we got you covered because you're just here to see the food. We're going to keep covering the food, friend. And not just here, we've got a whole state to showcase really when it comes down to it. But Florence is home base. All right, so you're welcome to just tag along and enjoy seeing what we have to offer to eat down here. Going back to the merchandise, what my hope is is that we can find a local supplier that also sees the vision and has a zeal for what the Florence Foodie stands for and what we're doing and would partner with us uh, to produce the merchandise, the clothing, and hopefully actually get the Florence Foodies gear into some of our local stores, like some of the, the local suppliers that we have. That's really what I would like to see happen. I, and I believe that we will get there. Honestly, I do. All right. So y'all check it out. Check the shop out. Um, if you see some designs in there, you like the shirts come in different colors. Just scan through it. Shop around a little bit. Hopefully you'll pick something up. And um, hopefully you really enjoy it. And you can wear it proudly. And we'll see you out and about in Florence while we're all hopefully enjoying some good food. Now let's rank this burger. As I was eating it, I figured out the specific elements. The checkers burger familiarity is coming from the toast that's on the bun and the lettuce and mayo combo. Now I'm having a conflict with this because I'm struggling between two positions for this one. I don't know where to put it. Let me finish it and I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Okay. I don't want y'all to think I'm taking this lightly because I am going to rank this top tier. And I don't ever want to throw anybody under the bus. My goal is to be objective and just tell the truth. Call it like I see it. And as proof of that, and I mentioned it in that video, the Bird's Nest Burger, I honestly expected to rate mid and at the bottom of the list. And it was bottom, but it wasn't mid. It was good. It was that wood grilled uh, flavor on the beef that I wasn't expecting that. And that wasn't what I had experienced the couple of previous times I had been there, but I hadn't had the burger and it was good. It is what it is. What do you want me to say? So I can almost assure you there are going to be places we're going to hit that are not going to get a top tier rating from me. This one does. And honestly, I'm not surprised by that. The, you know, the last one I thought might go differently and it did it pleasantly, but I expected this to go well. They didn't disappoint. I've never actually had that one. Um, I too usually get the smashing cheeseburger or 
the chopped cheese. Oh, and by the way, because I know a lot of people always want to know, I paid $19.80 for all of this. All right, so you see our spreadsheet on your screen. I wasn't sure, but there towards the end, I became convinced I got to do it. This is going to make some folks upset. I've got to put it. It was definitely over the bird's nest burger. I, I knew that immediately, but I got to put it over Del May also. So right now I've got the Peckaway Cafe cheeseburger, specifically the one I had, the Carolina Classic Burger, ranked number two behind Buddies. And I'm going to be honest, depending on what you're into, because like some people don't really like the thin, the real thin smash burger. If you don't, you're going to like that one better. I happen to be on the bandwagon on this one. I like the smash burgers. I do. So Buddies brings that element to it that I really like. But man, that is top flight, top flight. So yes, Peckaway Cafe. If you haven't seen the video that we did with them on Miles Chopped Cheese, you need to go back and watch that one. You can meet Valerie, the owner in that video. You can see a variety of their menu items, which they've got a few heavy hitters. God willing, this is not our last stop with them. I'd really like to get a full review on that Reuben, honestly. But you can also see their hours in that video, their Monday through Friday uh, lunch hours, pretty much is the gist of it. Go check them out. As always, I want to know y'all's feedback. I want to know y'all's comments, recommendations. Y'all have given me quite a few. There's at least three that are lined up, two of which I've never had. One in particular I'm really excited about. But in the meantime, let me know y'all's thoughts about this whole thing. All right, it's bigger, it's bigger than merchandise, man. We're trying to see something happen here. And I believe that we can play a role in making things happen. I've already seen it play out with that situation, that conversation. That was from one person pushing the issue and then making a couple connections that, you know, it worked out that I was in a position to be able to do that. But overall, it really started with telling somebody that's capable of making good food. Yo, there's people here that want to eat what you got, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm like more people than you think. Y'all are the proof of that. Buy the shirts, buy the merchandise, buy the cups, whatever. Buy the stickers for the back of the car and wear them out in the community. Put them on the back window of the car and drive it around town and let people know that we are out here. We are Florence foodies. And if you're not from Florence and you just come here because you like to watch food videos like me, then just watch them. We're going to be here, man. God willing, we're going to be here. So look, man, with that being said, I look forward to hearing from y'all. Peckaway Cafe, they don't miss. Go check them out. I've got this ranked number two. This is now the number two burger that I've got in town right now. I hope to see y'all around town with your Florence Foodies gear on or without, whatever. Just wear something. And in the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on next one.